When I was uh, young, I always enjoyed Western movies, and I was quite fascinated that whenever you would watch uh, a buggy or a stagecoach moving, at some instances, although you could see that the stagecoach or the buggy was moving forward, it looked like the spokes of the wheel weren't turning, or they would even maybe be going backwards. And we've added a couple of short clips. Uh, one's from a movie, I think, from hell to Texas, or maybe it's from Texas to hell, I'm not sure. And the other one's from Hallelujah Trail, which shows this effect. And the effect is caused by the fact that, uh, at least in the old days, uh, movies were shot on film, which is a whole series of very fast pictures. And so the spokes on the wheels were actually moving, but being captured in roughly the same place every time a picture was, taking, was taken, so it looked like uh, the wheel wasn't moving at all. And I can kind of demonstrate that effect for you here, which I'm going to do in just a moment after you watch those two clips. So I have here a strobe light, which is just uh, a flashlight that's capable of going off and on many times a second. I'm going to plug it in, and over here I have a fan. Uh, I've done something that you shouldn't do with a fan. I've taken off the guard from the fan blades so that I can show you this effect. Uh, we'll turn the fan on. Uh, the blades will rotate far too fast for us to see, but with this stroboscope I can actually stop the fan, fan blades. So I have a fan running here, which is, may not be obvious, but if I hold the string here in front of it, you can see that the string is flapping around because of the fan blowing air in front of it. So now I'm going to turn on my stroboscope, and I'll point it, let me darken the room for a second. I will point the fan blade at the strobe, at the fan blades, and when I hit the right speed, it looks like that blade's not moving at all. But if I hold the string in front of it, the string's still being pushed around a lot because of the air coming from the fan. And if I stroll slow and make it go faster, slower, get some different effects. So that's the reason why in a movie a wagon wheel can look like it's not turning at all and in fact it's actually moving forward. Thank you.